hi beauties so we're gonna do the brow i am using my spoolie to comb my brow in upward um, position now i am using my douglas eyebrow pencil to do my brow you start from the bottom part and when you come to the upper part don't start exactly where you start from the bottom give a little bit space because you are going to add some strokes at the beginning of the brow to make them look as if to say it is your own brow as you can see what i'm doing here i am adding some strokes and then feeling where i supposed to feel now i am using my go to be glue gel brow gel to set my brow this um, brow gel is so good it sets your brow and keep them in place then after that i use my la Gear pro concealer in the shade beautiful bronze to clean up my brow and then after that i use my angle brush to clean them more sorry my voice is a little bit deep because i have cold so now brows are done i'm going to my eyes i am using my smash box concealer to prep my eyelid for my eyeshadow now i am blending blend 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 so i am setting my eyes with my sasha cup setting powder to keep the concealer from moving i have oily lid now i am going to my huda beauty to pass palette i am using this gorgeous brown shade on my crease i want my crease to be a little bit deep so i'm going to define my crease with the brown shade on the palette so blend 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 you keep going back and forth then after that i'm using this champagne color on the palette on my lid i just want to have that neutral eyes because i'm going bold on my lips today so you keep going back and forth applying eyeshadow blending applying blending now i am using my mac liquid blast eyeliner to line my eyes i'm just giving that thin liner because i have slightly hooded eyes i don't want the eyeliner to cover my lid as you can see the eyeliner is so thin i do it in such a way that you can still see what i have on my lid now i am using my catrice lashes and my lash dual glue my um dual lash glue sorry to apply my falsies this is the best way to apply your falsies add glue on your lash line and then apply your lashes it goes very fast i love using this method so that is it on my eyes yeah eyes are done mm. you see me dancing whenever i got something right now i am using my milk hydro primer to prep my face for my foundation this primer is so good girls i love love this primer so now i am using my long content indoor foundation in the shade 12 on my face yeah this foundation is also good it blends so well on my skin as you can see yeah the foundation is so good girls can you see i'm trying to show you that i'm matching my neck with my face then after that i'm going back to the smash box concealer that i used to prep my eyelid to highlight my highlighted area under my eyes my cupid bow my chin my forehead and i'm blending why i did not add concealer on the other of my eye is because this concealer dries very fast so i decide not to add under my the other of my eyes but i do it off camera so don't be surprised that you did not see any concealer there so blend 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 yes make it seem seamless yes blend 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 now i am using my fainting match stick in espresso to contour and chisel my face Yes, on my forehead, my nose, yeah. Then I start blending. Um, what I was trying to show you, don't blend down your contour because it's going to make your face look flat and then um, old. You blend upwards to have that facelift effect. 
Then on my forehead, I am blending it towards my hairline, not down to my face. Now I am blending my nose to make my nose look more slimmer. Yes, now I use my powder foundation to blend everything to make them seem so good and no harsh line. Yes, now I'm going back to my concealer because I did not set immediately. So I have to do touch up before setting to avoid creasing. I am using now my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set my highlighted areas to make them pop more. I love Sasha Buttercup setting powder. That powder is so good. Now I am using my MAC Mina Rice Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep to set the whole of my face. This powder girl. Mm. If you don't have it in your makeup kit, please run to MAC and get this powder. So good. So, so good. Now I am using my all-time blush. I am a blusher girl. I love my MAC Raisin. This blush is dark friend, dark skin girl friendly. Can you see how my cheek is popping? I love that warm brownish color it is giving to my cheek. That is why I love this blush. Then after that, I am using my MAC Graphic Co Pencil to line my waterline. Yes, I'm not doing much on the waterline. Now I am setting my face with my MAC Fix Plus. So... Time for highlighting. I am adding my MAC Iridescent Powder in the shade Golden Bronze to the highest point of my cheek to blind all my enemies. No, just to add some highlights. Yes, I love me some good highlighter. Yeah, this color is so good, especially on that skin. My God, I can't have enough of this highlighter. I love, love it. So I'm using it to open my inner corner. To open my inner tear dot, sorry, to make it to pop more and to make me look more awake. Now, I am using my Liba liquid lipstick in the shade Rich Anti. Ah, oh, this lipstick is to die for ladies. Can you see? I am so happy here because since I bought this lipstick, I have not kept it down. I love this lipstick, Rich Anti. In short, they really give this lipstick the name it's supposed to have. So here is what I'm doing, applying, going back and forth, connecting my edges, very important. Yeah, so I'm setting my face back again to make everything come together. Now it is time for my hair, yes. Putting on the wig cap, adjusting my wig cap. Now I bought this um, wig from RPG hair. The hair is expensive, but I love, love this hair. I have wore it so many times. This is not the first time. So I'm just combing, adjusting, and putting it on. This wig is so, so beautiful. Whenever I wear this wig, I look like an Indian lady. <laughs> so funny. So I am adjusting the wig, making it look seamless. Ah, look at the final look. You cannot tell me anything. Mm, this is the final Look, I love the outcome of the look, the eyes, the lips, the face, the hair. Yes, I'm going to add a touch of dance because I am so much happy and grateful to God that we are making it towards the end of year 2022. I cannot wait to see what year 2023 has in stock for each and every one of us. Woo. Mm, I am feeling myself. I am feeling myself. Yes, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for my huge, beautiful subscribers. In fact, I lack words. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.